So one thing that's been missing from this, from the van, is is a socket. One of these um, uh, 240 volt exterior plug-in sockets. A bit like what you get on a caravan. Um, so it's mains or a generator. Easy, just to plug straight in. So we need that to go on the side of the van. Picked a spot here, just underneath, tucked away. Um, let's get some holes and get it on the side. We'll pop some pilot holes first for the We've got um, four mounting screws and a hole in the back uh, for the big wire. So let's get these uh, a little hole for the self tapper first. Always have a quick look on the other side of the panel where you're drilling just to make sure there's no wires or pipes or well anything there. Door panels, you don't want to go straight through your nice panel on the other side. Luckily on this one you can actually see there's no trim there so you can see what's going on on the other side. I'm just using a eighth drill bit here just to pop these holes through, just the right size for a self tapper. Go through nice and easy. You can see I've just using my finger there to steady the drill so when it does go through, it just doesn't go a mile through. Okay, let's get that little drill out of there. So we've got four nice little holes, and then we just need to get the cutter. Oh. So all I've got is a little cone cutter. These are brilliant for trying to make, you know, making a bigger hole. We've got a pilot hole in the middle just to help it go through. I'll pop a link in the description for the cone cutter, the 240 volt socket, um, and anything else I use. I'll put all those links into the uh, Amazon shop. Every step you go through to make it a little bit bigger. I sort of chomped its way through there. <laughs> that. I don't think we need to go too much bigger than that. Maybe one more. There we go, that'll do us. Right, so we can get that on there now. Ready to put the wire through. I'm going to seal, I'm going to put a bit of silicone around it. Uh, just to stop it going rotten. Here we go, nice bit of silicon there. And what we can do with that, we need a bit over each hole. Get it through. Just bang a little bit over each one, and then the threads will get out as it goes in. And then we'll have a nice, nice blobbing around the middle of that. And that should squidge, squidge in nicely. Okay, let's go for this, see if we can get it on. I've got four nice self tappers there. We'll line that up. Something like that. And then bang these in. Oh, that first one's playing hard to get. He just don't want to go in. Come on, give it some welly. That's just squish me silicon. <laughs> there we go. We find out the old don't line up. <laughs> so. Three. And the last one I can see this one's just slightly, slightly off. There we go. Oh, that's rock solid. Job in a town, that is. And then the socket then we'll just go into the bottom there wire coming out and uh, we'll feed the wire through to the inside so we've got the wire through just pushed it through from the inside there and then we can wire it up into this socket 
I'm using the nice 16 amp wire here. Just cut back and twist it up nicely. A little bit fiddly to get it in this socket. Try and get all the strands in. This is a high powered circuit this one, so we'll do that one first. this time and then we'll do those up so what we've used here is the big nice thick 16 amp cable um, live neutral earth onto the the, the um, uh, trailer socket and then we'll screw that back up into there Oh, missed. <laughs> Try again. Get it right this time. <laughs> Set it to where it's upside down, you can't quite see it properly. There we go, it's got that one started. Just put them in gently to start with and then I'll uh, wang them up a bit tighter. But again, it's only into plastic, so you haven't got to go mad. Steady as she goes. Just nip them up. This Makita impact is really controllable. It's a brilliant bit of kit. That's it. I've just got to cap the top off on the end there, stop the water getting in. But uh, that's lovely. Beautiful. So there we have it. 240 volt socket, capped off the top, actually painted it the same colour as the van. That goes through the side into the inner channel. I'll show you that. And then it comes up and we're bringing it back through here to power up that socket there. There's one this side and there's one the other side of the van. If you were bringing this through directly into the fuse board, you would just bring that wire up that I've just said through, through there and into the fuse board here and, and plumb it in. But because this is running inverters, so we're switching between inverters and mains. So when we're not using it from there, we we'll literally unplug it from there and plug it into the inverter. And then we've got a socket, got as power. We just lift that up, bang that in. Jobs are good. And so that's really nice now, really easy. So the wire just comes in from behind the cupboard. I don't know if you can actually see, that's a bit dark down there, but it comes in the side there. And and here we go, here's the, so we've got, as power comes into this socket here, and also on the other side of the van, we've got the inverter, and we've got a power socket here, which is off the hookup. So when we're not on hookup, we just unplug it from there, plug it into the inverter and that is now running off the battery power when we don't want to be on batteries when we're on hookup we just whip it out plug it into there and we're on hookup so it's uh, it's pretty easy it's nice a nice simple set setup now and we've also got the opportunity to run half of the system this inverter here this one powers the lighting the fridges um, and the sockets and the other side the 6000 watt RS one does the coffee machine so we can either have I could just run the the batteries on the vehicle off of this one to do the sockets and the auxiliaries and then we could just run the coffee machine off the mains or a generator so we've got a bit of a choice by splitting it like that and um, if you were going to just run you hook up straight into the fuse box then you would just run that uh, 
that 16 amp cable straight out and straight into the fuse box rather than going in wiring up the plug socket. Simple, really simple. I'll take the lid off that so you can just see where you would wire it in. So lift up the lid of the fuse box, we've got two screws. On that side, on that side. Front comes off the fuse board. Now we're obviously disconnected from the mains at this point. We don't want to uh, give ourselves a shock. So the main feed wire coming in is is the one at the side here, which then comes up up this third socket here. And if you can see how we've wired that in, we've got this 63 uh, RCD trip here. So if there's any earth leakage, if there's any problems anywhere, this will just bang out. It's a really, uh, really good safety feature. And all we're doing is wiring in there. Neutral goes into that one. Positive goes into that one. And the earth goes to the earth bar at the top. The power out comes down onto the bar at the bottom through this side here, the bar which then feeds anything you want to put in. So you could have your sockets, your fridges, your coffee machine running off of these outputs up here. And again, you put all the neutrals to the neutral bar at the top and all the earth to the earth bar at the top there as well. So it's dead simple, really straightforward and easy to wire. Once you're all done, you pop the cover back on. Which uh, might be easier said than done when you can't get a screw in. <laughs> I can need some practice screwing screws in because uh, I can't seem to find the hole. Put a bit of air around it, will be alright. <laughs> Come on, get it in there. There we go. Nice little fuse boxes, these. Again, I'll find these and put some links in the description if you uh, want something. If I can't find the exact ones, I'll put something really similar. And there you go. So there we have it. 240 volt hookup fitted, wired into the van, powering up as auxiliaries and everything. So uh, really good job. Making life so much easier, we can just bang straight in, powered up, get the generator on or through the mains, making life really easy. If you've got one of these to do on a, a caravan or a, a, you know, a food van or whatever, then uh, at least you've got an idea as to uh, how to wire it up so if it's been a use just drop me a little thumbs up like and subscribe follow me on the rest of the videos got loads to come got plenty more to do on the van so uh yeah enjoy the show see you in the next one